So guys, like you know, previously we started our new series about the Python and in today's Python video, I am telling you about the classes and objects. If you don't know what are classes uh, and objects, so in today's video, our whole, your whole concept will be clear about it, what are classes and objects. So if you are, if you are not know what is class and uh, objects, so see the video start to and then, then your whole concept will be clear about what are classes and objects in Python. So please hit the like button, share our path and subscribe to my channel, you know, to all the notification bell also, so you never miss our future latest videos. So now, I didn't take a long time, so let's move, move to the computer screen and let's do our coding with laughing. So guys, in today's Python video, I'm telling you the Python classes and objects. If you don't know what are classes and objects in Python, so in today's video, your whole concept will be clear about it. So let's get started without wasting our time. So let's get started. First of all, you must know what is the Python. Python is an one object oriented programming language. If you don't know what is Python, how to use Python, why Python is very popular, what is Python. So, uh, see my first video of the Python, Python introduction. In that video, I told you why, uh, about the whole thing. What is Python, okay, that all thing. But let's know about what are classes and objects. Almost everything in Python, everything, everything is an object with its properties, and its methods, everything. A class is like an object constructor or a blueprint for creating object. Create a class. To create a class, use the keyword class. If you create a class. In this example, we are create a class by the name of my class with a property name X. In this example, let me copy that and let me paste it here. Save it and then it should give me nothing output because I do not write such type of thing that why it give me not output. Create object. I have already told you how to create a class. You, you make a class using the keyword class. Create object. Now we can use the class name, can name uh, my class to create objects. Example, in this example, we are creating a create object name p1 and print the value of x. In this example, save it and run it. In here, we write nothing. That's why it gives me the error. If I write here, R A Y Y N. So like that. Now come down the init function. The example above are classes and objects in their simplest form. By simplest form, I have told you, which and are not really useful in real life applications. It's not very useful in real life application like you are making any any applications in Python. This is not really useful. To understand the meaning of classes, we have to understand the built-in init function. All classes have a function called init, which is always executed when the class is begin in initiated. Use the init function to assign values to object properties or other operations that are necessary to do when the object is begin created. In this example, we are create a class name person and we are use the init function to assign values for, for name and age. In this example, let me copy that, paste that, save it in init. So when I run it, it should give me John in 36. Why is it giving me John in 36? Because first of all, I make a one class by the name of person. Then I create a function using the def keyword. Then here I write like int. Then int function, I write like name, sorry, self, comma, uh, then name, then comma age. Then I write like self dot name equals to name and self dot age equals to age. Then in the P1, I write like person, so it will be John in age 36. You can also change it, the name you will be changed it like, you give the name like uh, Michael, you give the different name and age will also give you the 50. Save it and run it. So that give me Michael and 50 like that. Here you can see it. Note that the init function is called automatically every time the class is begin used to create a new object. The str function. The str function controls what will be written when the class object is represented as a string. If, if the str function is not set, the string representation of the objects is written in. In this example, we the string a represent, a representation of an object without the str function. Okay, this, this string is represented of an object without any str function. Let me show you. Save it and run it. It gives me main the main dot person object has the numbers is giving me like that. Here you can see it. 
when you are this you are when you are representing you are uh, the string represented of an object without the str function so it not give you such type of output give you this type of output like main dot person object is like that here you can see it example the string representing uh, representing of an object with the str function in this example it is representing uh, representation uh, the string representation of an object with the str function so when you write str function and when you run it should give you john and 36 like that here you can see it. but when you do not write the str function so it will give you this type of output like that this type of here you can see main dot person object as like that object methods object can also contain methods matter and objects are contain are functions that belong to the object let's us create a method in uh, in the person class in this example we insert a function uh, that prints a uh, greeting and execute it on the p1 object copy it paste it save it and run it should give me hello my name is john why does it give you hello my name is john because first of all i make one class person you all know this code but the seventh line of code is very important in this i write like hello my name is you write here hello my my age is also when i write like my name is then i write like here plus i write here plus operator you must add plus operator then i write here self dot name so that and uh, then it give me hello my name is john so when i write here hello my age and when i erase name erase name and i write like name age save it and run it should give me in sorry save it and run it so str okay let me see what is the error it is giving me and save it and run it should give me hello my name is john my age is john like that is giving me like that you can see it so like that you can do it by easily as using that and like that here you can see it so now let's come down the self parameter is a reference to current instance of the class and it used to access the variable that belong to the class the self parameter the self parameter is a reference to the current instance of the class and it's used to access the variable that belong to the class it does not have to be a name self you can call it whatever you like but it has to be the first parameter of any any function in the class in the example we use the words my silly object and abc instant of self let me copy it and let me paste it save it and run it so it give me hello my name is john like that why because i write like hello my name is that plus abc dot name that's why it give me like that modify object properties you can modify properties on objects like this in this example we are set the age of p1 to 40 paste it save it and then it should give you nothing output because i do not write such type of thing so it not give you the output give you the error obviously delete object properties you can delete properties on object by using the del keyword okay in this syntax this one syntax in this syntax we delete the age property e from the uh, p1 object so what you can do you let me show you paste this code here save it and run it so it give me my name is john but when i only write here that and when i paste it save it and run it so it give me this type of output here you can see it so like that delete objects if you want to delete the object you can delete object by using the dial keyword dial key it delete the p1 object okay using dial keyword you can delete the objects like i write like delete p1 so then it will be delete the p1 it not give you a such type of output because it has deleted the p1 the past statement Class definition cannot be empty, but if you want for some reason have a class definition with no content, put in the past statement to avoid getting an error. In the example like that, in this syntax here you can see it. In this syntax, uh, class definition cannot be empty, but if you are for some reason a class definition with no content, put in the past statement, uh, past statement to avoid getting an error. But if you do not put it in the past statement, so it gives you the error. Okay. So in today's video we learn about what are uh, what are very main thing we learn about in today's video we learn about the classes and objects so i hope you can enjoy this class uh, enjoy so please like this video share off and subscribe to my channel do not forget to all the notification bell also to never miss our future latest videos so but for today goodbye